So what is API? Well, that's an acronym that stands for Application Programming Interface. And what that means is most people are used to testing the GUI, graphical user interface. And how that worked was, you know, you guys had some test cases, you would open up some application where you see some stuff, you would go in, do some stuff to that graphical user interface, you would get some results, and based on that, you would have your test cases and your testing scenarios. But now, you need to be able to test something before that. Because before the GUI, we create the API. And that has to do with the developer code and developer methods and all that kind of stuff. And that API is developed and then plugged into the GUI to make everything function. So API tests involve communication directly with the application and by bypassing the UI that we are used to testing. So what does that mean? It means that we have a client, so that may be, you know, whoever the user is that communicates with the web, the internet, okay? They send a SOAP request to the web, and then the web sends that SOAP request to the server. Our server, based on the requests, will send back a response that contains all the relevant information. And that response goes to the web, and then from the web back to the client is another SOAP response. And that is pretty much the whole process of API testing simplified. 